Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a really cool product called Plasti Dip. This is like liquid rubber. It comes in two different kinds. You can get a variety of colors. This one is a spray. It is just like a little spray paint. It's plastic. It goes right over everything. You can see there there's a little nozzle and it's just black. You can shake it up for a little bit and give it a shot and there you can kind of see it's basically liquid rubber that comes out of the can. The other variety is a really cool one. This is more liquid and you dip it in. So I just give it a little shake. This one is brand new and basically it looks just like this pliers. You can dip it in and it coats it in plastic. It is liquid rubber. So we're gonna show you how to use it. It's really cool. I've got this old tool here and I'm gonna dip these handles in this Plasti Dip and we're gonna get going. I am going to use this because it'll be easier for me to dip it than to spray it. So to get started, simply pop the top here. Now again, you can get this stuff in the description below. I'll have links to this if you'd like to get some. I highly recommend it if you have anything that you need to coat or dip. It's pretty cool. Now with this Plasti Dip, there are some instructions on the back that tell you exactly what you need to do and they're itemized. So attach a wire string. I don't need it because I'm not gonna dip the whole thing. Then you insert one inch every five seconds. Allow 30 minutes between coats and 40 or four hours minimum dry time before use. So 30 minutes between coats, four hours before you use it, one inch every five seconds. So I mean, it's a pretty steady rate. Now, if you, the cool thing about this Plasti Dip is that if you go at the rate that it says, then it doesn't really drip. So you go in, then we're gonna pull it out. And look at that, very nice, very minimal drip. There's a little, there's no drip. There's no drip at all. No drip at all. You can kind of see that I got it coated on that side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. We're gonna rotate it around. Very nice, one inch every 30 seconds or minute or whatever. Oh, there's a drip, but that's all right. We'll pull it out, that was a little fast maybe, but you'll see. So the bottom line right there, this Plasti Dip is some cool stuff. Then the tricky part is going to be you need to put it somewhere where it can dry now it's really neat this stuff in about 10 minutes this is going to be dry to the touch it'll be a little bit sticky though so like if you push on it hard it'll be like i said it'll be a little sticky so you're going to want to uh, allow it to dry a little bit longer than that like i said about four hours before use so that is cool 30 minutes between coats so i'm not going to show you another coat but that is it. I'm probably going to do about three coats on there. That's what I would recommend. Three coats on anything that you do. That way you know that it is good and solid. And then you can make sure that, you know, like right here, it's a little uneven. I'm a little lower on the one side. But I'll catch that up on the second and third coats. And that is it. That is exactly how you can use Plasti Dip to make your products a little bit better and to have some good plastic rubberized handles on your stuff now check it out links in the description below plastic dip liquid and spray and we'll see you next time